great form. Well, tonight they started with a clean sheet at Dens Park, with both sides knowing that victory would take them to Hamden, and of course the bonus of a place in the European Cup Winners' Cup next season virtually guaranteed. At Dens Park, Archie McPherson. That's the Aberdeen side, and as you can see, unchanged from Saturday, which means that 19-year-old David Robertson continues at left back. And I'm reliably informed this talented young man is being watched tonight by Terry Venables of Tottenham Hotspur and Archie Knox of Manchester United, because not only does he show great promise, he is at the moment a very fine player. And there's the Dundee United side. They've dropped a couple, Bowman and French. And in comes the big Finn Pantalainen up front. But the man who caught the headlines on Saturday was Billy Thompson with some superb saves. Billy's missed some of the cup ties because of injury, so he, in a kind of uh, paradoxical way, he's still to concede a goal in the cup. And there's a referee for tonight. It's Bill Crombie from Edinburgh. Charlie Nicholas starting the game off on a very fine night for football. Ideal conditions. Looking down at the flags at the moment, there's hardly any wind at all. And although there were critics of the game on Saturday, the first semi-final, sometimes you get that. And very often the replay gets nail-biting even at the start, like in field there and trying flipping it across there's Simpson he actually did have a little time to bring that down to try and compose himself hope they really rushing out madly at him and uh, over it went well, that's a, a fraction of the Aberdeen support right underneath us. The musical accompaniment is very welcome. With David Dodds is chasing on. Here, Charlie Nicholas. He had nobody to release it to. Oh, almost got away with it. Often I've seen Nicholas doing that, nutmegging people, making them look ridiculous. <laughs> Nicholas on again towards Dodge. That's a very useful ball. Yes, that was well judged. Making the defenders turn and Dodge kept his eye on it. Just trifle unlucky, which just struck a bit too much <laughs> trying to test David Neri again oh, I think uh, oh he thought the whistle had gone so did Dodd he really did I was going to give him the uh, fulsome praise for the way he was keeping cool. But he actually thought the, the whistle had gone. Here's Bet. McLeish is up. Nicholas tries to turn on it. Dodds, very tight, United, tightening the ranks there, away goes Gallagher, ease the strain a bit, that's too much for Redford, Simpson, well as I said Aberdeen are really controlling this match, but uh, without giving Billy Thompson any nightmares, that's the point, Nicholas got away with it beautifully. Oh, great play. <laughs> Bet. Nicholas. Oh, beautiful touch there. Dodge. There's Nicholas. Nice little chip across.
Dent. A bit obvious and a bit more obvious. Timmy was in and United very significantly was standing all of this. 27 minutes of this game, or almost 27 minutes gone. It's been all Aberdeen, but as I said, Billy Thompson hasn't been really... Nice little pro, Padelaine in. Eamon Bannon trying to go through it. Robertson shuffling neatly into place. This was seeing a little of United as an attacking force. There's Morris Malpas. He really hasn't had all that much to do in the game, and I think he probably welcomes that. Beginning to forget what a football looked like. Exactly 15 minutes remaining in the first half. Very much deadlock. That's the best word to use. Even though Aberdeen have set the tone of the game. Here, Charlie Nicholas now. Thompson hesitated. Patelainen conceding another corner. the orders the goalkeeper has proved he's worth already in this game just McLeish Nicholas who always tries to play beautifully away by Higgerty McLeod there's Nicholas run here he is again oh. latest Yes, I think the referee will be booking here. As I said about Nicholas early, earlier, in a game of this sort, if you've got to hold on to it and take players on and try to put the ball through legs like this, we've got to have a bit of courage. Mark you, I think Hegarty, looking at that again, went straight for the ball. I think that is very harsh. I really do. I must say, it's one of these moments in football when you look at a tackle and you, you immediately flinch. But if we can see it again here, now this is what it is. Now watch Hegarty. There's Nicholas. And Hegarty, well, he was late. But I've seen infinitely worse than that. United really up against it. Here is what you might well expect. A very angered Jim McLean. time whistle a real hubbub here at Dent's Park and an enraged Jim McClay well as I said earlier I never like to see a man being sent off I, as I you know you, you simply have this inequality and I think restraint has to be shown by everybody involved here it really does well as I said earlier, I like protection for the door side. Kevin Gallagher. Another mistake. McGuinness is in there. Patelainen. Oh, it's in of an equaliser. Oh, that was a great goal. And how they fought for that with the ten men. 24 minutes of the second half gone and for courage alone United deserved this.
big patch of Leighton has been getting into the box. He's had his chances. Has it looked all that sharp? And then from the sub McGuinness turning round, difficult ball to take, and Jim Leighton beaten. Dodge just got the break. There's Nicholas. 